Hey everybody, this is Daniel with fitnessboy.com and today I'm going to take you through a hit routine. This is a new take on one of our most popular hit routines, the hit the ground running uh, routine. So it's going to be set up exactly the same way with all new exercises. We're going to start off with a uh, ladder, then a pyramid, and then a Tabata style hit routine. So before we do that though, we need to do our warm up. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So for our warm up, we're going to be doing each one of these exercises for roughly about 45 seconds each. Let's go ahead and get started. We're starting off with a nice high knee march. So stand up nice and straight and tall and you're just going to use one leg at a time nice and slow. Pull that knee up, back down, and then same thing the other side. So focus on range of motion. You don't need to worry about moving really, really quick yet. You can always speed up as you get more limber. But you want to mainly focus on, to start off with anyway, that range of motion. Get that knee up as high as you can. Try to get those hip flexors starting to warm up and that core starting to warm up a little bit. So like I said, we're doing this for 45 seconds. As you start warming up, as you start feeling those joints loosen up a little bit, feel free to start moving those legs a little bit faster. Keep those lungs open. About five seconds left, and then we're going to move to an arm push-pull. So start on just those arms first. You're going to press those arms forward. Then pull back, actually work against yourself. So as you push forward, those arms uh, are working against themselves. That chest and back is working against itself. It's a nice, slow, controlled motion. Now we're gonna start adding a little bit of a squat into it. So as you push, you squat down. As you pull, you stand back up. Start with a limited range of motion at first. And once those legs start feeling a little bit more limber, start pushing into a deeper range of motion. About 10 seconds left. We're moving in to toe touch circles next. So nice and slow, sweep down, up, stretch it back just a little bit. Same thing back around and stretch it back. So have just a little bit of a rotation to those shoulders at the top of that range of motion. Keep those lungs open. Make sure you're not holding your breath at any point to that range of motion. Trying to slowly increase that range as you stretch down towards those toes. And let's switch to a boxer shuffle. So come up onto those toes. Start working on those calves, rest that leg. So you want to stay up on those toes as much as you can. Don't let your foot actually go completely flat. You want to stay up on the ball of that foot as much as possible, just kind of shifting your weight back and forth. If you want to start getting a little bit more of a hop left and right, feel free. Otherwise, just keep it nice and slow right in the middle. Got about 10 seconds left, then we're going to switch into up and outs. All right, jump right into it. You bring one foot up and over. Keep working on those calves a little bit, so staying up on the ball of that foot. But now trying to work on that hip as well by opening up that hip joint, pulling that leg out to the side at the same time as keeping your hips facing straight forward. Should be feeling a little bit warmer at this point. Breathing should be increasing. Should be feeling that heart rate slowly increase as well. Nice quick motion, just keep it going. 10 seconds left. Got one more exercise of this warm up. Into jumping jacks. Start off nice and slow, focus on that form. Every time those legs come out, those arms go up. Try to keep those arms relatively straight. No jumping jacks with those elbows bent. Make that whole shoulder have to work by doing a full range of motion on that arm. As you get comfortable with it, as you've got that form down, start speeding it up. Got 
Got about 10 seconds left. Get it going nice and quick. Keep those lungs open, keep those arms rigid. Keep that shoulder contracted. All right, switch back to that boxer shuffle. We'll be right back to start into that first round of the ladder here in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and move in to that first hit routine. This one is going to be a descending ladder. So we're gonna be starting with 50 seconds per set, then 40, 30, 20, 10, and then we start over and switch to a new exercise. So the two exercises we're doing for this is going to be burpee for the first round and a pop squat for the second round, and then we'll move on to the pyramid round. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. Like I said, we're starting off with a burpee first. So get ready. 50 seconds without stop. And start them up. If you want the hardest version, you get a little jump at the top. You can even do a push up the bottom if you're a real glutton for punishment. Otherwise, just do a standing burpee if you want a little bit easier. So normally we do these 20 on 10 off, so those 50 seconds is gonna feel like it takes forever. And back to a boxer shuffle. Otherwise you can just keep those feet moving. We have a 15 second rest break before we start back in again. And we're doing the same exercise over again, but this time only for 40 seconds. All right, start it up. These are nice and easy to do for short time periods, but once you start adding them up, they start getting a lot more difficult. Keep those lungs open. All right, next rest break, another 15 seconds. Remember, these are getting 10 seconds shorter each time. We're down to 30 seconds. Start it up. Again, keep those lungs open, keep those feet moving. Switch to an easier version if you need to. Five seconds. All right, another 15 second break. Keep those feet moving. We're down to 20 seconds for this next one. Start it up. All right, just one more to go. This one is gonna be 10 seconds. Last round of burpees. Start him up. <clears throat> I like that last one, it's nice and quick. All right. We're going to be starting right into the next round, which like I said, is going to be pop squats. Take a quick second, take a nice deep breath in, try to recover as best you can. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, pop squats, starting with those feet nice and close. Feet out, touch that floor, bring those feet in, little pop. We'll hop in the center and right back out again. 
keep that back flat. No rounding that back over. So feel like you're trying to keep your chest up towards the wall in front of you. 30 seconds left. This is the long one. Under 20, well over halfway through this first one. 10 seconds left. Get a nice burn in those quads in the front of that thigh. Whoo, all right, 15 second break. Then we're going for 40 seconds. Five seconds till we start. Same thing. Watch that form. It's not necessarily about speed. It's about how clean that form is and how hard you push each repetition. My legs are already starting to burn. So I'm starting to slow down. Not doing quite as much of a hop. Over halfway. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and let it relax. All right, dropping down to thirty seconds for this next one. Nice full deep breaths. Same exercise. Thirty seconds. Start them up. Nice clean form. Keep trying to get a nice deep squat each time. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Let it relax again. We're down to twenty seconds. Five seconds till we start. Start them up. Keep those lungs open. Keep breathing nice and deep. If you purse those lips, kind of blow out like you're whistling. It helps keep more oxygen in your lungs. Pushes into your bloodstream a little better. All right, one more to go, 10 seconds. Keep those feet moving, breathing deep. Five seconds till we start that last round. <clears throat> start up. This one's quick, so push it. We've got a break after this one. And let it relax. All right, good job. That is group number one done. Give you a little bit of a break here. We'll come back, start into that pyramid set. Just a second. All right guys, so we've got group number two, which is a pyramid set. So we're gonna start at 10 seconds per round. It's gonna be 10, 20, 30, 40, 30, 20, 10. And then we uh, go back over, start again with a new exercise. So, as much as I don't want to do this, I'm going to do it anyway. Let's go to get the timer started. We are starting with a uh, knee up push up. So, you're going to be down on the ground for this one to start out with. So, go ahead and drop it down. Push up. That knee comes up to the elbow. Push up. Knee comes up to the opposite elbow. So, it's only 10 seconds for this first round. All right, let it rest for just a second. 20 seconds for the next one. By the time I'm done with this, I'm going to be doing the most pathetic version of a push-up you have ever seen. All right, five more seconds. And start them up. So push-up, knee comes up to that elbow. Push-up, same thing on the other side. Just keep them going. Try to keep a nice flat back. You can do from your toes like I'm doing, or feel free to drop down to those knees, especially when those arms start getting tired. 
Wow. All right, that's 20 seconds down. Next one is going to be 30 seconds. Five seconds. And start them up. Try to keep those hips down nice and low, even when you're pulling that knee up out to the side. Just five seconds left. Whew. All right, next one is our longest one. We're doing 40 seconds for this one. These last few are gonna start getting more ugly. <laughs> I'm starting to get tired. All right, back out, push up, knee up to the side. Keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. A little over halfway. Whew. Almost done. Oh. oh, okay, that was our longest one, which means we get to drop back down to 30 seconds on this one. Not that that is much comfort, but it's better than nothing. Five seconds. Start it up. I'm gonna have to drop it down on my knees. Wow, that's a good burn. All right, dropping down to 20 seconds for this next one. Five seconds till we start. One more to go. Just 10 seconds for this last one. Then we'll get a little bit of a break before we start into the last run through of the pyramid. Five seconds. Oh my gosh. All right, go ahead and stand up. Give a short little break here. I'm gonna be starting this back over, that pyramid set back over. Uh, we're going to be doing, oh, good old fashioned star jumps for this next round. I cannot explain to you how much this is going to be terrible, but it's, we're gonna get it done anyway. All right, just a few more seconds. Nice deep breath. Go to your happy place. Try to recover as quickly as you can. All right, let's go ahead and get this over with. Starting off with 10 second star jumps. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be ugly. Oh, okay, if only all of more 10 seconds, I think I could make it through it. <laughs> 10 more seconds till we start up. Doing 20 seconds for this next round. And start them up. This is just like a normal Tabata hit routine, so 20 seconds isn't bad at all. Let's go to that happy place. Keep pushing through it. This is gonna be looking sad by the time we're done. 
Okay, 15 second break. Moving up to 30 seconds. All right, five seconds until we start. Start him up. If you start getting tired enough to the point where you don't think you can get those feet back underneath you, then just jump straight up with those feet or do a squat and one leg at a time. Five more seconds. Oh man, big full deep breaths. 10 more seconds till we start that longest one. And start it up. Just go to that happy place. Do as many as you can. If you can, move faster than me and jump higher than me. Your goal is not to match me, but to beat me. 20 seconds left. Oh man. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope you're hurting just as badly as I am. Okay, no, I take that back. I hope you feel great. But I don't feel good. All right, we got five more seconds. We're dropping back down to 30 seconds again. Start him up. Try to get that squat in between. 20 seconds left. Try not to stop moving. If you have to move to an easier version, Five seconds. All right, that's 30 down. Back down to 20. We're almost done. Five seconds till we start. Start him up. Go to that happy place. There's only 20. Try to push through it. Get the whole 20 seconds. Five seconds left. Oh man. All right, one more, it's 10 seconds. This is easy. Keep those feet moving. Nice full deep breaths. Start them up. Oh man. All right, you get a nice long break this time. When we come back from the break, we'll be starting in to a traditional Tabata routine. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right guys, we just have one more round of work to do and this is going to be a traditional Tabata routine. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're just gonna run straight through this. There are 10 different exercises and we're doing each one twice. So it's gonna be AA, BB, CC, and just one down the list. So let me go ahead and get my timer started. We are starting off with lateral jumps. So get ready, five seconds left. And start them up. So nice wide jumps. Try to stay low, keep those shoulders down. Try to keep those shoulders relatively parallel. Don't rotate. Use those outside thighs to push yourself sideways as you go. Five seconds. All right, back to the center. Doing that again, same exact exercise. Keep those lungs open, keep those feet moving. And start up. Ten. 
10 seconds. If you have the strength left, try to really focus. Lots of distance. Ooh, all right. Moving into a seal push up next. Just gonna drop down to the ground. Start up in kind of a pike position. Dip down, do your push up, and then push it back up. After doing all those push ups earlier, surprising, still have a little bit left. Oh, all right. Again, one more round of those seal push ups. Keep those feet moving. I'm gonna drop it down. And that pike push up or pike position. Squeeze through, back up, dip it under like you're trying to go underneath the bar. Push up, back up. All right, back up. Keep those feet moving. We're doing a sumo squat with a side leg raise. It's gonna be alternating left and right on each one of these. Feet nice and wide, squat down, up to the side, bring your leg up, squat. Same thing on the other side. Keep those feet moving, keep those lungs open. One more round of those sumo squats. Feet nice and wide, toes turned out slightly. Down the middle, up. Squeeze with that leg up and out to the side. Try to keep it relatively straight. Try to keep that torso straight up and down. Try not to lean across. So you don't want to do one of these. You want to feel like you're actually squeezing down towards that leg you left. All right, back up. Starting on that next exercise, there's gonna be jumping jacks. Keep those feet moving. And start him up. Arm and shoulder nice and rigid. Nice, quick motion. Five more seconds. All right, keep those feet moving. One more round of those jumping jacks. Working through these nice and quick. Start up again. Arm almost as straight as you can. Slight, slight bend in that elbow. Keep that shoulder contracted, nice and tight. Moving nice and quick. All right, keep those feet moving. Moving on to a little harder one when we do jumping lunges next. Start them up, squat down or lunge down. Just pop it back and forth. Try to keep that weight evenly dispersed between your front and rear leg. Five seconds left. All right, keep those feet moving. We got one more for that jumping lunge. Three seconds. Start him up. Keep that torso straight up and down. Like I said, weight evenly dispersed between front and rear leg. Try to lean forward over that front leg. Five seconds. Oh man. Keep those feet moving. That is halfway through this routine. We've got agility dots next. Imagine an X on the ground. Back corner, top left, or sorry, top right, and then back again. Making that X pattern on the ground. The bigger the pattern, the harder it's gonna be. So remember the direction you're going, we're gonna switch it for the next round. All right, we started on that bottom left, jump to top right, so now we're gonna start bottom right and jump to top left. Start them up. Ten. Eight. 
10 seconds. Light on your feet, barely let those feet touch. All right, we're doing a side plank with a toe touch. Let's go ahead and drop down on one side. Up on a side plank, toe comes up. Don't let it touch. Keep that leg hovering. Try to lean down into that toe. Try to bring that toe up to your hand. All right, same thing on the other side. Down on the ground. Bring it up. Foot comes in front and hover. Back up. All right, got high knees next. Start them up. Drive those knees. Move quick. Pump those arms. Keep those lungs open. Those feet moving. One more round of those high knees. Start them up. Just two more exercises after this. Keep those arms moving, keep those legs moving. Drive that knee. All right, we got front jacks next. Hands in front. Up over your head. Arm and shoulder rigid. Five seconds. One more round of those. Start them up. Keep those abdominal muscles nice and rigid. As you swing those arms up, you're gonna have a tendency to wanna tilt your chest back. And you wanna keep that chest straight up and down. All right, one more exercise. There's two more rounds to go. Rocket squats are next. So three, two, one, jump. Keep it going. Nice deep squat. One more round. Keep that back flat, chest tilted up towards the wall in front of you. Start them up. Three, two, one. Keep going as hard as you can on that jump. Oh, and let it relax. All right. Only thing we have left is to cool down and stretch. Just keep those lungs open. We're gonna start with a quad stretch first. Just bring one foot back behind you. Grab hold of that foot, squeeze that heel to your butt. Chest straight up and down. Try to pull that leg back behind you as far as you can go. You should feel it to the front of that thigh. Switch sides, same thing on the other foot. Kick that leg up, squeeze that knee back if you need to. Lean against a counter or back of a chair. 
whatever you need to to help you keep your balance. But if you can, don't use anything. Make that stretch routine, burn a few extra calories. Core pulled in nice and tight, heel to butt, knee back. And let it relax. Feet out nice and wide. Bend one knee, you're gonna lean towards that straight leg. Feel it through the inside of that thigh. So let it sit there, let it stretch. Like I said, you should feel it on the inside of that thigh. Same thing on the other side. Lean back towards that straight leg. Nice, full, deep breath. That respiration rate, that breathing rate should be starting to slow down a little bit. That heart's still gonna be pumping like crazy though. Feet same width apart, but you can go straight down the center. Around that back. Keep those legs straight, don't let those knees bend. And stand it back up. Feet together nice and close. You're gonna do some regular toe touch. Straight down. Start with a flat back. Try to keep those legs nice and straight. They're gonna be tired, so they're gonna be popping out on you. Try to keep them straight. And then round that back. Go and sit down. Actually, bring those feet together nice and close. Squeeze them in. Back nice and flat. Scoot those feet out. Lean straight forward over top of those legs. Try to keep that back flat so you can feel it down inside that hip joint. And lay onto your back. Knees over to one side. Keep those shoulders flat against the ground and look across the opposite direction from those knees. You want a little extra stretch, straighten the bottom leg and get a little extra rotation to those hips. Just make sure that shoulder doesn't come up off the ground. Same thing on the other side, knees stacked, or for a little extra range of motion, bottom knee out straight, looking the opposite direction for that knee. Keep that shoulder down against the ground. Straight. One more, we're gonna do a deep glute stretch. One leg over top of the other. Pull that leg in, grabbing behind that thigh. And let everything relax. Should feel that stretch through the leg you have crossed over top, down into that glute, into that butt muscle. Cross over the other side, pull in. And let it relax. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you had a good workout. You're as tired as I am. Uh, hope you enjoyed this new version of the Hit the Ground Running. I'd love to hear your comments, what you thought about it in the comment section below. Otherwise, 
this workout is complete. See you guys next time.